Hello traders, welcome to Leading Forex YouTube channel. And today we have another episode of our training or tutorials coming your way. This is actually the episode 10 of our tutorials. If you are new to this channel and you are a beginner in the forest market, I would suggest that you go straight to the episode one of this video. We actually have a playlist that is forex training for beginners so that is the name of the playlist go to this playlist look for the first video which is the part one and come all your way up to the episode 10 which we are about doing and that will give you a fair idea and will help you appreciate what the forest market is all about if you are also an already existing forex trader I'm sure these videos here will help you gain extra experience in the Forex market. My name is Kofi, your admin of Leading Forex. I am a trader and also a journalist in Ghana. Yes, I am in Ghana, in Africa, Ghana. That is where I am. So I'm reaching you from Ghana. So wherever you are, thanks for linking up or joining me on Leading Forex YouTube channel. Now, let me take this opportunity to congratulate all the subscribers. Today we have hit our first 1K subscribers and it's a milestone, we must celebrate it. So we've all done well by making sure this community will grow. So I am down to F and all I'm saying here is that I love you, the subscribers on this channel. God bless you. And I pray that whatever I brought you to this channel, you will find it. All right? Good. Now, this is the episode 10 of our tutorials. And we're still going to talk about technical analysis. Now, you already know from our previous videos that we have three types of market analysis. Before you buy or sell in the forest market, you need to do analysis. You need to analyze the market before you will come to a decision to either buy or sell. So whatever currency pair you will choose to trade, whether Euro, USD, GBP, JPY, or whatsoever pair you might choose, you need to analyze the market and be able to understand why you are selling or buying. So the way and manner to analyze the market to be able to either buy or sell is what is called analysis. So we have three types of analysis in the forest market, which is the technical analysis, the fundamental analysis, and the sentiment analysis. We have started with technical analysis, and that is where we are currently. So the episode 10 of our tutorials today is still going to cover technical analysis because we all got to know that under technical analysis, we have different ways you can analyze the market only under technical analysis. And so in the episode nine, we talked about support and resistance, which is also a way to analyze the market before entering a buy or sell or before placing a trade. Now, we are not yet done with the support and resistance. We are not yet done. but for you to understand and appreciate what support and resistance really mean, because I'm going to go deeper. And so for you to understand it so well, I want to jump and touch on a different topic today. And that topic will still link us to the support and resistance. So today I want to talk about candlesticks formation, candlesticks. And this candlesticks today will help us on our way to understanding support and resistance better. Is that okay? So the episode nine on this channel leading for us is not all that we want to talk about under support and resistance. There are still more. But before we continue from there, we want to talk about candlesticks. And this candlestick formation is also a whole video on its own, but I'm just going to touch a piece of it I'm not going to do all on candlesticks today, okay? Because I'm just linking part of it to the support and resistance. So 
the episode 10 today is not going to be the whole tutorial on candlesticks. It's just going to be at least the surface, if I'll put it. Just a gist of what candlesticks are. That is what we're going to do today in our video. So if you are ready, I'm also ready. Uh, let's begin and let's see what we want to talk about today in the episode 10. So maybe you have gone through all my videos. You still feel like you need someone that will hold your hand and walk you through this forest market one by one or step by step or in an orderly manner. Yes, you understood whatever I'm teaching you on this channel, but you still feel how to go about it is difficult. So you need me to walk you through. I'll be available if that is your worry. So for that, that will be my one-on-one -on -one mentorship. So if you need me for that purpose, I have my handles here where you can reach me on Telegram at Kofi Dollar. You can reach me on Telegram. Also in my email, that is leadingforestgh at gmail.com. And then via WhatsApp, WhatsApp is plus 233-246-136609. And then on my cell phone, you can place a call plus 233-246-136609. But bear it in mind that because of the energy, the resources I'm going to use to walk you through whatever you need in forest step by step will actually attract a little charge or fee. It's not going to be free. Yes, because I'm going to take my time and then have one-on-one -on -one session with you, take you through certain things, make you understand things, do things practically the way you want to understand it. So it's actually going to take my time and resource. And so that wouldn't be for free. So get that in mind that if you need me for one-on-one -on -one mentorship, it's not going to be for free. Now, let's move to today's lesson. Today, like I said, I want us to talk about candlesticks. And if you are already here, I am also here. Now on the chat, you can see candlesticks. Now the candlesticks you are seeing, I'm going to explain in details. Now, I want you to visualize these candlesticks by just looking at the sticks alone without the writing. Is that okay? Just look at the white candle here and the black candle here without the writing. Is that okay? Now, let me explain with the help of the writing by each of the candles. Now, when you download your MT4 or MT5, you may see the candles being blank like this or colored. Whichever way you're going to see the candlesticks, because it's a chart on its own. We have three types of charts. We have the linear chart, the candlesticks chart, and then the bar chart. But in this case, we are talking about the candlesticks chart. Now, let me draw something for you to understand what this candlestick whole thing is about. When you look at the white candlestick here, you will see the end point of the body, which is here. This white candlestick is a candlestick that has made an up move. Is that okay? And then the black candlestick is a candlestick that has gone down or that has made a down move. Is that okay? So these are the two colors. The white one represents a bullish candle. The black one represents a bearish candle. Is that okay? So bullish, white, bearish, black. So this one went up, this one came down. So the end point of it here is where the market opened. So you see open. This is where the market opened. Now, what do we uh, understand by the word opened? It means this is where the candle started forming. This is where it started forming. Is that okay? That is what is mean by open. So immediately you see open, it means that is where the candle started 
forming. So it started forming here. So that is the open. Now, when it started forming here, it decided to go down, came down, couldn't stay downwards, retraced back up to where it started, and then made its way up. And then continued its way up to the top here. And then it couldn't hold at the top there. And then it retraced back down and then closed somewhere here. So you see closed. So it opened here, made this low, but couldn't continue downwards, retraced back up, and then went back to where it started, and then made its way back up, continued up to a certain level, and then dropped back again, and then closed here. Is that OK? Now, let me go further. All that I'm trying to say is that, assuming the time is, let's say, 8 PM, is that OK? And let's assume that this candle is a one hour candle, or four hour candle, or daily candle, or weekly candle, or monthly candle, or 15 minutes candle or 30 minutes candle, whichever candle or time you might put it. Let's assume this candle is any of the whatsoever. So let me use one hour for example. So let's assume that this candle started at eight o'clock PM here. And then between eight to nine, this is what happened in the market. This candle represents what happened in the market. It came down, couldn't stand the downwards movement, went back up, retraced, went back up to the level where it started, then continued its way up, and then went further up, but couldn't stay up there, came back down a bit, and then it closed somewhere here. So this is the open, this is the close. Now, this part of the candle, which was retraced, both the up and the down, are called shadows. It means the market couldn't hold at those levels. So they are just shadows because the market retraced their shadows. So it came all the way up here, which was the higher part of the candle. And this is the lower part of the candle. So the market closed here between eight and nine. Immediately it is 9 p.m. This market closed, this candle closed here. And then exactly nine, one seconds, a new candle started forming. So the next candle will start forming between nine and 10. And that one will also close. The next candle will begin to form between 10 and 11. And then that one will also close. The next one will begin to form between 11 and 12 in that order. That is if it is one hour, one hour, one hour. But if it's a four hour candle, that means that let's assume the candle closed at 8 p.m. or started forming at 8 p.m. Yes, 8 p.m. Then in the next four hours, that will be 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That will be four hours. So between 8 to 9 is one hour, 9 to 10 is two hours. 10 to 11 is three hours. 11 to 12 will be four hours. So it means if this candle started forming at 8 p.m., the candle will actually close at what? 12 p.m. Or 12 a.m. rather. That would be 12 a.m. Because 12 p 8 p.m. to 12 a.m. will be four hours. Do you understand? So if the market started or the candle started at 8 p.m., it means the candle will close at 12 a.m. Is that okay? That is if it is four hours. So it means each candle represents four hours, if it is a four hour time frame. If it's one hour time frame, each candle represents one hour candle. 
if it is 30 minutes time frame, it means each candle represents 30 minutes. So between 8 to 8.30, one candle. Between 8.30 to 9, second candle. Between 9 to 9.30, third candle. So that will be 30 minutes each. But if it is a 15-minute chart, it means each candle represents 15 minutes. So between 8 p.m. to 8.15, the first candle is formed. Between 8.15 to 8.30, the second candle is formed. Between 8.30 to 8.45, the next candle is formed. Between 8.45 to 9, the next candle is formed. That is if it is on the 15-minute chart. If it's on the five-minute chart, the first candle will be five minutes between 8 to 8.5. The next candle will be between 8.5 to 8.10. The next candle will be between 8.10 to 8.15 in that order. If it's a one minute chart, it means each candle represents one minute between 8 to 8.1, between 8.1 to 8.2, between 8.2 to 8.3 in that order. Is that okay? Good. Now, like I explained, this black candle here is a cell candle. Okay. Let me quickly deal with that too. So if it is a cell candle, it means this candle came down. So it means where this market closed, that is where the new candle will begin from. Don't get it twisted. Exactly where the candle closed is where the new candle will open. So when a candle is closed at 9 p.m., the next candle will start forming from 9 p.m. So when one candle closes, the very time at which that candle closes is the same time a new candle will begin to form. Is that okay? Good. So if this candle is a one hour candle, this one closed here, the next candle also started forming from that same price, that same level. So that becomes an open price for the new candle. Now, when this candle opened at that same level, it also went up, couldn't stay up, retraced back down, and then back to the price at which it opened, and then continued its way down, and then went further, came down further, couldn't continue to go down, but retraced back and then closed here at this level. So this is the open price. This is the closed price. So this becomes a sell candle. This becomes a buy candle. And like I told you, the, the, the shadows you are seeing here are the weaker part of the market where the market couldn't stay, but decided to retrace. Is that okay? Now, if you have understood this, then let's continue for the sake of time. Let's continue quickly and see what else we can do. Now, I am showing you a different color of candles. And this one, you are seeing a green candle and a red candle. I will soon go to the MT4 for you to see what I'm showing you now. Whatever you saw on this one is the same thing here, just that the colors that have changed. So the green candle is a buy or bullish candle. The red candle is a bearish or a sell candle on whatever time frame it is, you will be the best to judge or decide. Is that okay? Good. If you have understood the meaning of these candles, how they are formed, then let's continue. Then all I can tell you is that when it comes to the chart, I told you we have the linear chart, we have the bar chart, and then we have the candlesticks. Now the candlesticks chart, the way the candles are formed, it is the same way on the bar chart the candles are also formed. Now, on the bar chart, the first line you are seeing here is the open. This is the first line here is the open. So it means the market opened here. It opened at this level and then made its way down, couldn't stay, retraced back to the level where it opened and then went out all up and then continued its way up but couldn't stay at the top there, 
retraced back down and then closed at this level. So if the next candle is going to be formed, the next candle will also start forming from this level. And then we'll either choose to go up, come back down, go down, go, go down, come back, and then maybe close somewhere here. <laughs> Do you get it? So when it comes to the bar chart and then the candlestick chart, they are almost the same. They are almost the same. The only difference is that these ones are sticks. These are more like uh, sticks, all right? They are just like bars. They are like bars, if I'll put it. That's why it's named bar chart. But the open price and the close price and the higher highs and the lows are all the same. So when you switch your chart to bar chart, we will soon do that. So we'll see that very soon. When you switch it to bar chart, it will look like this. When you switch it to the candlestick chart, it will look like the uh, previous videos that I have shown to you, which are either this or this. Is that okay? Now let's move on. Now let's, let's look at a, a little history about candlesticks. Is that okay? The candlesticks is believed to originate or is originated from Japan. That is the belief, that is history. That's what history says. So if I read what I have written here, the Japanese created their own old school version of technical analysis to trade rice. This is back, back, back in the olden days. That was when commodities were traded most. Commodities like rice, oil and others, metals and the rest were mostly traded. So the Japanese decided to create their own sticks. They had some sticks which they used to measure the price of rice. So the sticks that they developed and they were using it to measure the price of rice to know when the price of rice will fall and when the price of rice will rise became very popular in Japan. So what happened? A Westerner by the name Steve Nissen discovered this secret technique called the Japanese candlesticks, learning it from a fellow Japanese broker. So this Westerner called Steve went to Japan, saw a colleague trader who was using this technique and he learned it from him. Now, we do not know that trader whom he lent it from. History has not given us the name of whoever Steve lent from. But when Steve lent from this man, he decided to do a research into the whole analysis that was used then by the Japans or the Japanese, if I'll put it, the Japanese. So he studied, lived, breathed, ate candlesticks, and, and then after a thorough research, he began to write about it, to tell people how good it is to use candlesticks in trading commodities and even Forex. So slowly, this secret technique grew into popularity in the 90s. You know that in the year 1990, uh, 1996, if I put it, in the year 1996, Forest trading hit the internet and became something global. Already it was global, but it was offline. So in 1996, Forest became global on the internet. So this candlestick technique, which we all attributed to Steve Nissen today, because we do not know that Japanese he learned it from became very popular when the internet market of forest began. And that is how come, if you look at your MT4 or your MT5, you will see Japanese candlesticks. If, if you go to trading view, you will see the, the whole software is customized with Japanese candlesticks. Although there might be other charts, but Japanese candlesticks have become very popular as a result of the help 
of Steve Neeson. Okay, so to make the long story short, without Steve Neeson, Candace State Chat might have remained a buried secret. So today we can say that Steve Neeson is Mr. Candlestick because whoever he lent it from, we do not know him. So today we can boldly say that Steve Neeson is Mr. Candlesticks. Now, we will be going to the chat very soon to show you something, but I want to tell you that our next lesson on candlesticks will be the interpretation of these candlesticks the way they are formed. When they form in a certain way, they have a meaning. When they form in another way, they have a meaning. They have different ways they form. So that's why I said that this candlesticks is just a part of it that we are doing today. In other videos, we'll be going deeper for you to know when they are formed in certain ways, what do they mean? And what is the market trying to say? Because that was how the Japans or the Jap Japanese, I beg your pardon, that was how the Japanese predicted rice as a commodity and traded with it. So once a pattern is formed, once a candle is formed, that candle has a meaning. And the meaning will tell you what to do next in the forest market. But we will not talk about that today. But like I said, I am just giving you how these candlesticks are formed so that when we go to support and resistance, to continue from there, you will understand things very well. So please have time for me on this channel because I'm going to break everything down in pieces the way it will be best for you to understand. I'm not going to rush it. The videos are going to come in orderly manner so that if you grab it, you grab it once and for all. Is that okay? So that will be our next lesson, but not now. Uh, we will go back to, after this, we'll go back to my next episode will be on support and resistance again. And then after that, we can then come back to this candlesticks anatomy to look at its interpretations. Is that okay? Good. Now let's, let's go straight to the MT4 and then let's interpret what we've just uh, seen today. All right. Let's go to the MT4. Let me share the MT4 with you right now so that we can look at something. All right, the MT4 is here. Good. This is the MT4. And I'm sure all of us are seeing it. Good. Now, the first thing I want you to take notice of is the candles. Now you will see that the candles, as you can see them, they are in two different colors green and red. I change them to this colors. Now, if I go to the next window here, you see that the candles are not red and green. They are white and green. Is that okay? So you can change the colors to suit whatever color you want. So you can see them here that they are white and green. Uh, the green is actually not in full. There's black portion in it. Now, if you want different, different windows, like I have created different windows down here, all you need to do is just pick a currency pair, drag it, don't put it on the chart here, bring it to anywhere at the top here, at the top right-hand corner where there's nothing there, that plain white portion, just drop whatever pair you have picked over there and a new window will be formed. I'm sure you can see that a new window has just been formed. So now I have this window, I have this one, I have this one. You're getting it. If you want another window, just pick any currency, drag it and bring it to the top here, and then you leave it. Another window will be formed. So now I have this window here, this one here, this one here, and then this one here. So this is how to quickly get different, different windows. All right, good. Now, these two new windows that we created. Now you can see that the background of this is different from the background here. All these are things you can do. You can customize this MT4, make it look better the way you want it. So if you want to remove this grid portion that you are seeing on the chart, all you need to do is just right click on the chart, right click on the chart, you will see grid. This is grid over here. Click on the grid and the grid will disappear. If you want to bring it back, just right click, 
go back and click on grid and then it will appear so the grid being on i i, I feel weird i don't kind of like it so i normally try to remove it so i, I right click then i click on the grid and then the grid will disappear leaving me with a plain chart now the chart is on bar chart now let me zoom it for you to see you can see these are the bar charts all right these are the bar charts so we have the bar chart here at the top here and then we have the candlesticks here if i click on this you see that the candlesticks have just shown so these are the candlesticks here these are the bar charts these are the candlesticks charts so on the bar chart you can see the opening and then the close the opening and the close but because it looks the same color you don't kind of see it but if i put it on candlesticks you see the different colors is that it? not it good now on the bar chart you can change the colors and then it will show the same way now how do you change the colors okay how do you change the colors that is what i want to show you now to change the colors to customize it to suit your own colors right click on it again and then you go to properties down the last one properties at the down click on it and this will show now once it comes like this look for bar up and then under bar up you see that the color is line so you click on it it will give you a drop down of menu or which are colors so you choose whichever color you want the bar up okay we are not changing the bar up it's rather the bar down we want to change okay so let's change the bar down so you look for the bar down the bar down means a bearish candle bar up means a bullish candle so we are looking for bar down which is a bearish candle so you click on bar down you change the color to maybe red maybe i need a red so you see that the red formation is showing but i'm not okay with the color after the bar down you look for bear candle we have bull candle and bear candle you look for bear candle so if you are changing the cell candles you look for bar down and then bear candle so you change this to the same color that you change the bar down to we change the bar down to red so we need to change the bear candle to, to red so the bear candle is also going to be changed to red and now you can see here everything is changed to red so the bar down candle color is changed to red and then the bear candle is also changed color is changed to red now you click on okay you will see that the two colors are showing so now the cell candle here is red the green candle is the buy is that okay the same way if it's on bar chart the colors are now different it's no more the same can you see that the colors have changed on the bar too now yeah so on the bar you can see that the colors are now red and then green or lime whatever color you will say it is is that okay so this is how you can change the colors to suit whatever color you want there are options the colors are so many now as you can see today is tuesday uh, 22nd of uh, june the year 2021 so we are in the middle of the week we are not yet even in the middle we have just begun the week and so you can see the trade is moving the market is moving and you can see the candles or the bars moving so like i showed you previously this is where the market opened this one closed here the bar one which is this is red candle so it closed here a new one open here and it's on its way up so this is on one hour so it will take one hour for this candle to close for a new one to open so all these candles we are seeing here are all one hour candles is that okay good now if i switch to the uh, candlesticks you can see the weaker part that i showed you now if you look at these candles their formations are different they don't look alike this is a very long candle with a big body look at this one this is just 
a very small candle with a very long tail. Look at this one also here. A very long tail down with just a head here. <laughs> so you can see the candles. Look at this one. It started here, closed just a weaker side at the down, but no weak at the top. So you can see that the candles that have been formed are very, very different from each other. And they all have their meanings. They have their interpretation. This is on one hour. If I switch it to four hour, you see the candles. They are not the same. Their formations are very different. They don't look alike. So you see the weaker part, which is the shadow. This one with a very long shadow, a very short shadow down, very long shadow up. And then the body is small here. Look at this one here too. A very long body, a very short weak side at the down, and then a bit longer uh, weak at the top. So you see that the candles are formed different. Look at this candle here. Look at this one here. If only you can see the cursor. Look at this pin. This is a pin bar or a hammer. Look at this hammer. This is part of the family of the doji candles. I don't want to rush you there, but this candle is just very tiny and they look different from all the others. So these candles have meanings. So the Japanese back in those days used their, their meanings to interpret the way they form, tell them what the market is about to do or the meaning of what is happening in the market. So we'll be looking at that later. But if you have understood this and you still want to read more, maybe you want to get ahead of me in knowing more about these candlesticks, then there is a site I will show you right now to go and read. I'm not selfish. I want you to be the best. So let me show you the site. The site is here. This is the name of the site. StevenissonsCandlesticks.com. So if you search for candlesticks.com, you understand everything, everything. This is all about Steve Neeson's candlesticks all that he talked about in terms of candlesticks whatsoever. This is his personal company, trading company about candlesticks alone. So if you look at the homepage, they have candlesticks training. So if you want to take a training on that, you see, if I click on it, you see the menu, free training, candlestick charting 101, candlestick patterns, candlestick course book, options, Forex, general market and the rest. So under the full library, it's also a menu, all that about them, their strategy, their testimonies, meeting their teams, their clients, affiliates, whatsoever, contacting them and the rest. So if you go to candlesticks.com, you'll get to read and know more about what this candlesticks is all about. Like I said, I'm only showing you this place to go and read for theory purpose. <laughs> I repeat, for theory purpose, when it comes to practicals, it's a different ball game altogether. Is that okay? Good. So if you really want to read more about candlesticks or maybe you want to get ahead of me, you can come here and read for yourself. But I'll surely cover everything that you need because I will not be talking everything into detail of what is here. I'm just going to pick out the details that are important and then I'll touch on them and then we go. Is that okay? So this is how candlesticks are formed. And from today, the next episode, which will be episode 11, we'll go back to support and resistance and then finish the support and resistance. And once we are done with the support and resistance, then we come back to finish the anatomy of these candlesticks. This is Leading Forex. My name is Kofi, your admin. Subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell so that anytime I drop a new video, you'll be the first to receive it. Also talk about us to other people. Let them see the good thing you have seen. And together, let's grow this channel to become the bigger community the forest market will ever know. Thank you. I'll see you in the next episode. God be with you. Please do well to watch over and over if you don't understand anything. But you can also reach me if you need my support. Like I said, I'll be available. Thank you and see you soon.